My exposition will be very down to earth. It turns out, in some sense, billiards are to chaos what uh, harmonic oscillators to integrable system. You know, it's, they capture the essence of chaotic dynamics. So what's a billiard? Suppose we have a plane like the plane on this board, and we cannot penetrate this wall. So outside the wall, we cannot go. And there is a domain Q, which is the billet. There is the border of the billet, which is conventionally written as a partial billet. And the complement is the entire plane, so R square, the blue region. Assume there is a little particle, which for us is a ball, like a billiard ball, snooker, or pinball. This particle moves at constant velocity, there's no energy loss, there is no friction. So the billiard that I'll do is very idealized. I idealization comes in two places, one is that the velocity is constant, and the other one is so-called specular reflection, a mirror reflection, speculum. And what happens with mirror reflection is that the parallel component of the velocity remains the same. So if, <coughs> if this was velocity vector, then V parallel remains the same, but perpendicular component, a unit vector border has every place. It's assumed to be smooth and have at least first derivative, so this perpendicular vector is well defined every place. The perpendicular component just gets reversed. So we can write this as a formula. We can say that if this is velocity or momentum at time n plus 1, we'll assume energy conservation. Uh, we'll assume free motion in between collisions. So that says the energy is just velocity, squ uh, momentum squared free motion of two-dimensional vector in a plane, then you know, it will be convenient to set mass equals 1 and to set uh, velocity equals 1 because it doesn't change in time. So I might just as well measure lengths in units of time because velocity is the same. So whenever I talk about the time that went from being here and being there, that's actually the same as the length, because the last is one. But then the law of reflection, momentum at time p n plus 1. So after the impact, so we count first impact, second impact, third impact, fourth. So the time is the integer time, which is naturally defined. It's the same as the previous momentum, but we have to subtract the normal components, so we project the vector onto normal components, so we write p dot n, and then we have to subtract the thing that was pointing this way, that way, that's minus. The total momentum transfer to the immutable immobile wall is twice that. That's it, that's specular reflection. Now the phase space of the system, so I'll use phase space for Hamiltonian systems and state space for more general systems. So phase space, in my coordinates, is I'll have coordinate Q1, Q2, someplace in this billiard. So it's Q1, Q2. <laughs> and then we need to know the momenta to fully specify the state of the particle, the P1, P2. But we have two constraints. You know, one is that we have energy conservation 
and the other one is that it have velocity conservation. Phase space is four-dimensional, but dynamics is really two-dimensional.